A group of researchers have identified seven stars that might be surrounded by ancient alien megastructures, otherwise known as Dyson spheres. Let's dive in. If you're new to the channel, y'all, and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I put on a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day, and I am sick today, y'all, so I might talk a little slower, but I was not going to miss this video. Like, I am deadly sick, um, but we're going to get through it. So please hit that like button, veterans. That really helps out the videos, and you really help out me today. And, of course, just comment down below of what do you think of these Dyson spheres, right? All right, I got the clip lined up. Let's go. A group of researchers say they've identified at least seven stars that might be surrounded by super advanced alien megastructures known as Dyson spheres. Yes, I said alien structures and I know what you're thinking, but just stay with me here because the basic idea was this. Superior intelligent life might build big structures around their home stars or planets as a way to harness or reuse that energy. A 1960s physicist who came up with this idea, Freeman Dyson, argued that if these structures existed, there'd be so much energy that human scientists on Earth could probably spot it because it would emit a lot of infrared radiation. So in this new study, researchers say they found seven sources glowing in the infrared, those are their words, but couldn't find an obvious explanation for why these sources are glowing so much, which could mean they're Dyson spheres or something else entirely. And what I'm saying is, what? Space is so crazy. I wish I understood it better. So let's talk to a scientist to help wrap our heads around this. I'm joined now by Professor Jana Levin. She is an astrophysicist and author of the book, Black Hole Survival Guide, as well as the Claire Toe Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Bernard College of Columbia University. Professor, first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I you. tried to explain it a little bit. That was my nice. very dirty version. I was gonna be like, yeah, but I'm an English major who just had Google. <laughs> You uh, have a PhD in physics from MIT. So how do you explain Dyson well, spheres? I think there was an excellent explanation. If you look at where we are relative to the sun, we're very far away. We're the third planet in. And imagine the light that we try to collect, let's say, with solar panels on people's homes or on any roofs to, to collect that energy. Imagine if you got really close and you caught everything the sun was emitting. It's just a tremendous amount of power. And so Freeman Dyson was thinking about this. Actually, he was originally inspired by sci-fi. Yeah. Um, uh, written by Olaf Stapleton like decades earlier. And his idea wasn't so much a solid sphere. It was really like satellites in orbit, a network of things that would be orbiting and would essentially, what we would now say, have solar panels and are collecting that energy. So what do you make of this study, <laughs> just generally speaking, I guess? Do you think it's possible that these are the elusive Dyson spheres? So I think it's very unlikely, but I'm open. We have to be open as scientists if we think we know the answer before we go and observe, then we're already defeated. Um, I think it's terribly unlikely, but it's extremely exciting and interesting to, to think about. And it's fun to think about. What's, what's probably going to happen is we're going to look at, at this infrared signature that you mentioned, and we're going to find out that there's a natural cause. Mm. Um, so a lot of things emit heat in the infrared. You know, infrared goggles allow us to see um, human bodies and the heat of human bodies. And it's not that dissimilar that when we look in the infrared, we see things emitting heat. So the idea was if we had this very technologically advanced civilization, like thousands of years beyond where we are right mm -hmm. now, and they could build such a thing and it was collecting all this energy, it would collect also some heat and would have to cool off and we would see that in the infrared. But there are other natural possibilities. That, are, that could explain. What do you think those possibly could well, be? Well, it could be a very young star that still has some material around it in kind of a disk, and that's how planets form. Planets coalesce out of these early disks, and, and those can emit in the infrared. It could be that there's actually an entire galaxy in the distance behind the star, and we're seeing that galaxy, and we can't disambiguate those. Um, or it could be planetary collisions. I mean, there are natural explanations. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think it's worth noting, we're looking just a thousand light years around us. That sounds far, but it's actually really close. That's, that's our backyard. Mm -hmm. The entire Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light years across. And there are probably more planets in the Milky Way galaxy than there are stars. So we're talking of hundreds of billions and maybe trillions of planets out there. And I think we're in an era where we think the emergence of life is is 
possibly inevitable elsewhere, mm -hmm. that we're not the only example. Now, whether or not they've survived with thousands of years of industrial advancement to build a Dyson sphere is a different story. <laughs> yeah, do you think there is a scenario where a Dyson sphere might actually exist, or do you think this is really just the stuff of sci-fi <laughs> fantasy? I think it's feasible, mm -hmm. unlikely. If you look at where we are since the Industrial Revolution, it's only a couple hundred years, um, we're in a precarious position. We have have climate change, we have uh, struggles with, with nuclear power, nuclear weapons that, that are uh, could be destructive. It's unclear that any species that makes it that advanced mm -hmm. could survive far enough into their own future to, to be able to build a Dyson sphere. Mm -hmm. But there are optimists out there who say we'll find a way. Yeah, all right. The universe is a pretty big place, right? And it'd be a shame if it was just us. Seems like that a lot of waste of space. Right? <laughs> all right, Professor, thank you so much for being here. Thank we really appreciate Thank you so much for having it. me. Thanks for watching. Stay up. That's interesting. Dyson spheres, right? Um, the idea that advanced civilizations would build something to harness their energy. I mean, we do it here. It seems, I think it seems likely. I'm not saying that study i'm not saying that study seems likely i'm just saying the idea of a dyson sphere does seem likely something like that right um yeah i don't know tell me in the comments let me know what you guys think um got a great video uh tomorrow hopefully i'll feel better and i'll be back at it um so and i've got an interview with dr michael masters who put out another research paper about crypto terrestrials, right? So there's a lot of papers going around. I'm actually going to have Dr. Michael Masters on the show on Wednesday. That episode will probably go out Thursday or Friday. So um, yeah, should be exciting. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Remember, every day is a gift.